Hey guys, Doug here. Quick little video. One of my holiday purchases was four more of these lithium iron phosphate 3.2 volt 80 amp hour cells. So these just arrived after being in transit since November or something. And just, you know, when you, when you see other people talking about how you can get these and they're hit or miss. This one's got writing on it. If you look closely at the shrink wrap, it's, it's not clean. Well, the barcode is clean and not scratched up, and these aren't scratched up. Really? You can see how that one's is a little messed up. It looks like it's had some dirty stuff going on on the bottom there. Whatever this cover is they have, it looks like a piece of stuck on plastic. This one's a little better. But these ones have different barcodes. Don't even say 80 amp hour on them. And I dropped it. Dropped my phone. That's good times right there. So I just unboxed these. And I'm going to take a voltage from this straight out the box. 3.25 3 3.27 3.28 3.286 Alright, well I can overlook all the other stuff as long as these test out. I'll be doing my uh, capacity tests on these. I got these off of AliExpress. Um, yep, took forever. I'm still waiting on a bunch of other packages thanks to the post office. So, just a quick video. I have four more of these. They'll eventually go into a 24 volt system. You'll see that shortly in another video with a uh, hybrid inverter that I have just received as well. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and click like. So we're getting it all charged up. And then we're going to do a um, discharge with our, my iCharger X8. I let it charge up overnight and it took in a total of 66 amp hours for the 4S setup. 12 volts, you know, 14 point something at the top. Right now I'm doing a balance. And once that balance is done, then I will discharge it from top voltage. And then I'll be back with the uh, results of that. All right, so it's done doing its balance charge. We're within three millivolts. So I'm gonna set it up to do a discharge. Life. Let's see what the, uh, let's go back to this. You know what, I'm gonna run it at 6.7 amps. Uh, at least I'll try. Looks like the, fast, the highest discharge this will do is 3.56. I guess it's because of the higher voltage. I'm going to let this discharge. And then I'll be back to see what the capacity comes out to for these cells. So, my initial discharge test did not reach the 80 amp hours came very close 79.482 but it did not reach 
the 80 amp hours that these cells were rated for. So, still, we'll test um, with a few different types. I'm going to actually do some tests when I get the other four and these four into a 24 volt 8S configuration. So, I'm going to set these to charge back up. There we go.